Hi everyone, this is Bee Swarm Simulator game on Roblox and this is part 26. I just finished the quest here at the blue flower field. I had to collect pollen for the polar bear. So let's go let him know and get our next quest. What do I see here near the spider field? Let's collect my rewards first, but I believe this is my second sticker. Let's pick it up. Awesome, so I needed to find two stickers here behind the 5B gate for my sticker seeker rank 1 quest. So now I need to collect six stickers without trading to complete that quest. But I am getting a little bit distracted. I was going to go and talk to the polar bear. So let's do that first. That's all the ingredients I need. Okay, let me whip something up. Chop chop, sizzle, a dash of honey, stir. All done, enjoy! Well, I'm always ready to eat. I'll be waiting when you're ready for more cooking. Hey there! You hungry? If you collect the ingredients, I'll cook us up something good. So good, it will permanently increase the maximum energy of your bees by 5%. I'll even throw in some honey for dessert. Check the quest menu to see our next recipe. Let's take a look. So for the polar bear's next quest, we need to collect pollen from the cactus field, bamboo field, dandelion field. We need to defeat two spiders, six scorpions, and two werewolves. Before I get too far from this area, let's go here and use the blender. For one of my quests, I need to craft seven ingredients with it. And I also need to use seven royal jellies. So why don't we start with crafting? Let's take a look. Whoops. Get all my gifts and let's see. I know I actually need one of the items crafted for another quest, which is the heart wax, because I don't think I have that one. I have some, let's see, I have soft wax and this one as well, but no hard wax. So let's get into the blender menu and see what we need to make the hard wax. And we need three soft wax, we need three, I believe these are enzymes, and then the bitterberry and royal jellies. Well, let's give it a try. Make one. Confirm. And that takes five minutes, so I will come back for that. Should I go and collect pollen somewhere? Maybe finish up at the pine tree forest? Let's go. This part of the quest is done. Let's go to the bamboo field next. I just got to the bamboo field and I see another sticker. Oh goodness, and a festive gift. So let's collect that and get my sticker. Whoopsie, I got it, awesome. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. So I just seen a sticker land on the field and I went and picked it up. It said that my sticker seeker tool actually found it and that's how I found my first out of six stickers without trading for the quest. All those ones that I actually peeled off the walls, I found three so far I believe. I am not quite sure where they went because I cannot see them anywhere in my inventory. I just finished converting my pollen into honey and it looks like I finally have enough honey to get a better backpack. Let's go take a look. It's right in here. And open shop. Let's see. So I don't need any of these. I don't want the dipper, but I really want this for the hive. And I finally have 250 million honey. Well, I'm buying it. Let's go out and look at it. I think I look pretty good. What do you guys think? I look like a real beekeeper. I believe it has been five minutes. Let's take a look at the blender. My hard wax is ready and crafting. And I still need to make a few more items. I need six more. So where are those gumdrops? Here they are. Make gumdrops. Confirm. Half an hour. In the meantime, I have been working here at the bamboo field and I completed the quest for the black bear. I also found a few stickers in this field while I was collecting pollen and I'm pretty sure I completed my sticker seeker rank one quest. So it's done. Um, I think I should go talk to the black bear first though, so let's do that. How was your walk? Nice job! Here is a blue extract. Just six more quests and the star jelly is yours. I'm not necessarily a fashionable bear, but I recognize the importance of a good outfit, especially for beekeepers like you. The accessories you can buy in the shops are crucial for improving your honey-making abilities. For example, the shoulder guards you can find in the red and blue HQs offer tons of benefits like increased container space and colored pollen boosts. Make sure you're upgrading your gear. It's worth the investment. For this next quest, an elite red guard would do wonders. Collect 10 million red pollen, collect 4 million pollen from the clover field, and collect 1.5 million pollen from the stump field. Before we continue in the main area, let's check in with our sticker seeker machine over here. So turn in your quest. All right, so what happened? Oh, I got a sticker, green plus sign. Okay, and I can begin another quest. All right, so let's take a look what it is. I need to find two seeker stickers hidden in the 10B zone 
collect 120,000 pollen with the sticker seeker and collect three rainbow sticker tokens. Okay, sounds good. So let's go back to the main area. All right, so I need to claim a hive once again. Let's convert the pollen into honey while I'm here. And get this gift. Perfect. So I believe my half an hour is over and I should have my ingredients ready in the blender. So let's go see. On the way, I realized there is a vicious bee in the cactus field, so we might as well defeat it and get some extra stingers. And also looks like I completed Polar Bear's quest. Awesome! Vicious Bee has been defeated, and I guess there was a sprout in this field as well. I didn't even notice it at first, but we got some rewards, which is awesome. So let's go look at the blender. Oh, got a gift. All right, where are my gumdrops? We can end crafting now. That part of the quest is completed, so now I just need to use seven royal jellies. Wonder if I should wait until I get a brand new bee and use the royal jellies on it? So, which quest did I complete? Was it the polar bears? Where is it? Oh, here we are. Let's go talk to the polar bear. That's all the ingredients I need. Okay, let me whip something up. Chop, chop, sizzle, a dash of honey. Stir, all done, enjoy. Well, I'm always ready to eat. I'll be waiting when you're ready for more cooking. Hey there, you hungry? If you collect the ingredients, I'll cook us up something good. So good, it will permanently increase the maximum energy of your bees by 5%. I'll even throw in some honey for dessert. Check the quest menu to see our next recipe. And for the polar bear, I need to collect pollen from the strawberry field and the pumpkin patch. I have finished collecting pollen at the pumpkin patch. I also needed that for the brown bear's quest. And now I am done here at the dandelion field. So let's go let brown bear know. Great job, but here is some royal jelly. You've completed 28 of my quests so far. Complete two more and I'll give you five microconverters. And if you complete 22 more, I'll give you a gold egg. Looks like it's been over an hour since I gave you the last quest. Talk to me again whenever you're ready for the next one. Welcome back. You ready for a new quest? Complete it and I'll give you some royal jelly and a ticket. You've completed 28 of my quests so far and every new quest becomes a bit more challenging. Check your quest menu to see what's up next. Let's see. And it's only pollen from the strawberry field which works out because I also needed four polar bears quest. Before we continue working on our quests, why don't I see if I have enough for a hive slot? And I do, so let's get one. Also, I think it's time to upgrade for a new glider. It's 5 million honey. I have enough, so let's get that. Perfect, so let's go hatch my egg and use some royal jellies.
On the way to my hive, I realized there was a legendary sprout growing here at the pine tree forest area. So there was another player working on it as well. So between the two of us, we finished and look at all these rewards. This is awesome and I also got a sticker. Alrighty, to the hive we go. And since I have my new glider, I am able to go up here now and collect this royal jelly. And where was my hive? There it is. I already see my hive slot. Let's find that egg that I purchased. Actually, I didn't purchase one, but I do have some eggs and I will probably hatch this diamond one. Yes, and I got a legendary lion bee. Okay, so I already have three of those. Let's use some royal jellies and see if I can get a new kind. Yes, okay. I used seven royal jellies, so now my science bears quest is completed. Let's keep going though to try and get a new kind. Awesome, I got a new type of bee, it's baby bee, it's legendary. This little bee isn't very good at bee tasks yet, but it's guaranteed to bring you joy and luck. Awesome, let's keep it. Now let's talk to the science bear. Fascinating, so there are at least 26 types of bees. Oh, and some informative graphs on the frequency of natural events. By studying these, I believe I can unlock some potential in your swarm. Hmm, thinking, aha, uh -huh, there we go. From here on out, your bees will be able to convert 25% more pollen to honey at a time. That brings the conversion efficiency bonus to 550%. Report back to me when you're ready to do more research. Through years of diligent experimentation, we have made countless advancements in honey-making technology. But the discovery that's most surprising and least well understood is the use of gumdrops to immediately gain honey from the flowers themselves. Scatter gumdrops on a field and it will become covered in puddles. Collect from those puddles to gain bonus honey. We call the honey gained in this way goo, and it has some seemingly otherworldly properties. For my next experiment, I want to demystify goo and better understand understand how it works. Using that knowledge, I believe I'll be able to unlock even more potential in your swarm. Take these gumdrops and share them with others to complete these tasks. Using them on boosted fields will yield much more goo per gumdrop. Here's what I'll need. Collect 270,000 goo from white flowers, collect 270,000 goo from red flowers, collect 270,000 goo from blue flowers, collect 270,000 goo from the sunflower field, collect 2,700,000 pollen from the sunflower field, collect the same amount from the blue flower field, craft 27 ingredients with the blender, defeat 27 ladybugs, and most importantly, discover 27 types of bees. Report back when your research is complete. Well, this is gonna be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!